replace him. Whisper. <laughs> but I'm sure the crowd went home happy. <clears throat> yes. Okay, 10 seconds or so. Five seconds, I guess. <clears throat> oh, gee, I've got to do a day sponsor. Good morning on this Tuesday. This is the 29th day of September 1992. And welcome to Michael Johnson, who's here in Studio M. Hi, Michael. Hi, how are you, Dale? I'm fine. I'm fine. It's good to see you again. Good to see you. You're sitting on a very colorful rug here in Studio M. Is this your rug? Do you travel with this rug, or is this our rug? I'd like to have this rug. No, this is <laughs> pretty nice. It is pretty nice. It gives a nice homey feel for this next section. Of, uh, of the show. Stephanie Went is here sitting in for Jim Ed Poole. Good morning. And we're going to hear some live music. Michael Johnson is about to embark on a mini sweep of Minnesota starting at 8 o'clock tonight at the Benedicta Arts Center on the campus of the College of St. Benedict in St. Joseph. Uh, and then uh, tomorrow night, Michael will be at Southwest State University in Marshall on Thursday. You will be, I'm just going to tell you now so you know, you'll be in Worthington at Worthington Community College. And on Saturday, you'll be at the High School Auditorium in Appleton. And as our show goes on, we'll give you phone numbers to call for all those concerts. So that, Michael, if you wanted to call to find out when Michael Johnson would perform at those various places. I've been known to do that, to need to do that, actually. You, you could find out or get a ticket if you wanted one. <laughs> <laughs> Michael uh, is known to many people in Minnesota from the, the days when you lived here. But you have since moved to Nashville, and it's probably been a long time. How long has it been? Do you it's, remember? Well, it'll be, I think it's six years now. Six. You usually yeah. come back around Christmas time for a concert. I do, yeah. And I usually come back in the summer, too. I was here for the state fair. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, still recording <laughs> albums in Nashville, and you have just released your 11th? My 11th album. Can you believe it? For the same record label. I think that's unusual, isn't it? Well, you know what? It's, it's the first... It's not the same. Oh, it's not the same. Well, that's why it's so unusual. That's why nobody it's does more it. unusual every minute. Yeah, it? not even you do that. <laughs> no, not even I. Although I am signed now to the label that I was signed with, the first label. Oh, is that right? In uh, 1971. Well, sure, let's say that. 70? Yeah, <laughs> 1971. <laughs> you have some new songs for us? I do. Well, I, I don't know if they're, they'll be new, but uh, mm -hmm. well, this I, is... I have a couple of new ones. This one is... Uh, I do this every election year. Well, I used to. Now I just do it all the time. Mm -hmm. Because would, would it be brazen of me to say that I don't think there, there might not be anyone to vote for? Mm -hmm. I, I occasionally feel that way. This song is a, an exercise in diplomacy. It makes a firm stand, but it doesn't take sides. That's the kind of song I like. Some kind of parties are lots of fun But right now I can't think of one Cause the only party that's on my mind Is that low-down politic in kind It takes a whole lot less to beat a donkey than an elephant But a donkey, he's more likely to forget Well, either way you lose the human element It's an animal kingdom, let's elect a new White House pet Some old buzzard as some old goat If the donkey or the elephant got his vote Well, the goat's been a donkey most of his life But he changed his tune for his elephant wife It takes a whole lot less to beat a donkey than an elephant But a donkey, he's more likely to forget Yeah, well, either way you lose the human element It's an animal kingdom, let's elect a new White House pet Well, there's lots of parties at election time Yeah, there's party favors and party lines It's a costume party, what shall I wear? Well, I believe I'll go as a man that cares It takes a whole lot less to beat a donkey than an elephant But a donkey, he's more likely to forget Well, either way you lose the human element It's an animal kingdom, let's elect a new White House it's an animal kingdom, let's elect a new White House. Well, it's an animal kingdom, let's elect a new White House. Yeah. 
Michael Johnson performing live here in Studio M. That was a good song. And here I thought from the title White House Pet, I thought it was about Millie. But <laughs> no, no, no. It no. wasn't about Millie. No, no, no. No, and that's just as well because, you know, White House pets, actual pets in the White House come and go. But sort of stuff you're singing about is is forever. It seems to be, doesn't it? It does seem to be, yeah. Yes. Michael is performing tonight at the College of St. Benedict in St. Joseph. And for more information about tonight's concert, which is at 8 p.m., you can call this number in area code 612. It's 363-5777. We also uh, want to say along the way here, happy birthday to Ruth in Sioux Falls. Uh, Ruth's favorite singer is Michael Johnson. Well, happy birthday, Ruth. Yeah, so maybe you could do something from your Michael Johnson songbook. Maybe I should. Actually, way. I'm sitting here thinking I should really do something that uh, people have actually heard before, so... Uh, mm. Okay, sure. Ready? Yeah, why not? Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ruth. Happy birthday to you. What a wonderful new composition from yes, Michael thank Johnson you. here. And uh, happy birthday to Ruth from your husband, Dave. Well, you're going to be uh, traveling around the region. We mentioned the concert tonight in St. Joseph, and then you're headed south and west to Marshall on Wednesday, Worthington on Thursday, and Appleton on uh, on Saturday. Mm -hmm. This is the southwestern swing. It is, yeah. I have no idea what we'll do on Friday. You could uh, see the glories of southwestern Minnesota. It's really a striking place. Well, it, and it's going to be beautiful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It is going to be beautiful. The weather will be wonderful. Yeah. And uh, visit Blue Mounds, and you'll see some remarkable things. Mm -hmm. It is a high spot in mm -hmm. southwestern Minnesota. The... Uh, the place you, well, I don't know, do you spend much time in Nashville? Having a home base in Nashville, I've found for musicians, doesn't necessarily translate into spending much time there. No, I have a phone machine in Nashville. <laughs> and, and the idea was, you know, I was commuting from Minneapolis to Nashville. One winter, between October and December, while making a record down there, I flew to Nashville 22 times. Wow. And said, you know, I'd, if I were there, I guess I'd be home. Mm -hmm. more often mm -hmm. and so we moved there and then I went on the road and I'm here and they're there mm -hmm. sure sure and that's the life of the musician although I understand some country stars have now set up shop at least for the summer and is it Brantford Missouri it's uh, it's Branson Missouri Branson Missouri and I had often wished wouldn't it be nice to have the performer stay in one place and the audience travel mm-hmm and that's either uh, Branson or uh, Orlando, I guess. Yeah, yeah, and they all, they have theaters there. Yeah. Various stars have their own theater, and people do come to see them, and the performers yeah. actually get to have a family life during the summer, yeah. which is a great idea, but you need to be kind of a big name to pull it off. Yes, you? you do, and there's a bit of the old guard kind of attitude there. It's the, it's not the young, new stars. It's, the, it's Mel Tillis and the guys who sure. are called the veterans, I think, who have... Uh, opened up shop there. Mm -hmm. And the young stars have to have the uh, uh, swirling green fog on stage and those little microphones that come out and look like headsets <laughs> that's in right, front of that's you right. and you have to have water shoot out of your sleeves. And all Isn't the that strange that, that country music would become something like that? Do you do any of that? No. None no, of I that? Don't, I don't burst into flames and I don't have like an enormous cactus that rises out of this, you know, the orchestra pit. Or do anything. you wear a hat? No, I don't, don't even wear a hat. No, and I should these days actually because <laughs> so you're getting a little thin on top. But you're, you're darn near old guard, Michael. I suppose you know they, they you know there's this scenario. Now I shouldn't. This is self-deprecating, but they'll say it's, this is the kind of a little uh, description of a career. The first thing they'll say is, "Who's Michael Johnson?" Mm -hmm. Then the second thing they'll say, "When when you're happening in that little sliver in your life when you're." <laughs> Too expensive to afford, they'll say. We need someone just like, like, like Michael Johnson. And then it moves on to uh, get me a young Michael Johnson. Michael Johnson. Yeah. I've, got a, I've got a question for you. Yeah. You're playing at a lot of universities, and I see a high school auditorium. Speaking of careers, when, when those kids come up to you, which I'm sure they must do occasionally, tug your sleeve and say, you know, I got this song, I play guitar, what do, mm. I, what do I do to get heard? What do you tell them? Well, I tell them not to quit. You know, that's really the one the one thing they can't do. There seem to be as many ways to get into that business as there are people. Everybody's got a little different story. Mm 
But I just advise them not to quit and to be relentless. Mm-hmm. Be- and because their competition is pretty compulsive, I mean, we <laughs> we leave our wives and kids and we, we wind up staying in locker rooms and in, in high school auditoriums as dressing rooms and uh, because we we love it, and that's the competition is people who are just driven, you know. Sure. So if they are, there's nothing I could say that would dissuade them, or convince them. Mm-hmm. Right. Either way. Sure. So it's it's more of an introspection. You have to look inside and see if you've got what it really takes to to yeah, do it. Yeah, that's right. The only thing I would do is not discourage anybody. Sure. Because you could be wrong, you know. Yeah. By saying you don't have it, oh, wouldn't that be awful? Yeah. Uh, Michael's going to do another song for us here live in Studio M called Compromise. I would guess this is about compromise then. Yes. Song. Yes, it is. Actually, not. No. <laughs> uh, I'm going to, lest I compromise, this is a segue. My intonation, I'm going to tune up here. <laughs> That's fine. And while Michael prepares, I'll tell you again his concert tonight is at Benedict Arts Center at St. Benedict in St. Joseph, Minnesota. And tomorrow night he'll be in Marshall, Minnesota. Ready? Mm hmm. It hit him one morning, it came without warning He was still in the prime of his life He took to his bed with a terrible feeling The doctors were rushed to his side Some kind of voodoo curse Some dark aboriginal spell To malignant to ever reverse Kind of a happy song To abstract for the power of science to quell They huddled around him With pills and prescriptions They filled up his head with advice They left him no cure For the things he was seeing That kept him awake every night There isn't a medicine made To put back the fire in your eyes Nobody knows Why it kills us to compromise Is it chemical, spiritual, emotional, material, the dye that we use on our hair? The creamer in coffee that lowers our resistance to something unseen in the air? How can the soul stand up, subjected to all this disease? From the day we drop dead on the street To the prickly rash We develop on the soles of our feet No talking in tongues No laying on of hands No soaking the body in ice Can ever replenish the vitamins lacking To keep us on edge all our lives There isn't a medicine made Put back the fire in your eyes Nobody knows Why it kills us to compromise There isn't a medicine made To put back the fire in your eyes Nobody knows Why it kills us to compromise Michael Johnson live here in Studio M. That's a great song. Thank you. A friend of mine wrote that. His name is Bill Gable. Mm -hmm. The uh, concerts uh, Michael will do this week include uh, Wednesday night in Marshall, Minnesota at Southwest State, Thursday night at Worthington Community College in Worthington, Saturday at the High School Auditorium in Appleton, Minnesota. And there's one number to call for information about all three of those concerts. It's toll-free, 1-800-566. 1-800-568-4215. 1-800-568-4215. And for tonight's show, 
at uh, Benedict Arts Center in St. Joseph, Minnesota, you can call in area code 612-363-5777. Do you feel like you've had to do that much compromise in, in the music business? Have you had to sometimes not be Michael Johnson in order to to move ahead? I'm lucky in that way. I can't not be Michael Johnson. I, I've I've even tried, and mm-hmm. it doesn't work. I mean, it's it's not like I have the option the way other artists seem to. So I'm, uh, it's, you know, it's not a matter of integrity, really. I'm just spared that. <laughs> it's I, not integrity, it, it's inability. It's inability. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, delusions of adequacy. <laughs> what I'm suffering from. <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a motto there somewhere, yes. but I'm not sure. Or as Chevy Chase would say, just be yourself and lose the accent. And lose the accent, right. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, she said. <laughs> I've got one I can't lose. <laughs> this, uh, this next song you're going to do is from the new album, which is called Michael Johnson. Yes, I thought I'd use my real name on this album. (laughs) Not called Mel Tillis' Greatest Hits. No. No. Uh, This is a song called Half the Moon. Mm Mm-hmm. I love the way you say moon. Moon. Half the moon. It's so nice to be in Minnesota. (laughs) I must say, it's just great. Yeah, this is Half the Moon. I I'd call it a typical love song in some ways. I, I say boy meets girl, they fall in love. In this case, girl leaves boy, boy kills girl kind of song. But Ooh. it isn't that, really. It's not that. Half the moon is shining Half the moon is pitch black And I've got half a chance that you might Turn around and come back And half my love is seeing the light And half my love is still blind on thinking tomorrow you'll change your mind and half our hearts were doing just fine half our hearts were in doubt and half the time while walking the line I ended up stepping out Half my prayers were praying to God And half my prayers were to you Tonight it looks like the answers are overdue And I'm feeling just how hard Half the moon can work Where my heart might crack in two If that moon were full Half the moon is shining tonight Half the moon's up and gone You must have taken half of its life Find the road that you're on And half my love is seeing the truth And half my love is still blind It makes that missing half the moon Hard to find Makes that missing Half the moon are defined. Michael Johnson performing live in Studio M, song called Half the Moon. 
That's from your new album called Michael Johnson. I, I don't know why I'm telling you that like it's news to you. <laughs> well, it's every, at this time of the morning, it's yeah. <laughs> not always the most musical time of day. Plus, I have this electronic organizer, mm-hmm. and I'm just entering the computer world. Oh. And it, I had all of my daybook and all of my self-instructions, including a little journal and song lyrics, and it locked up on me the way people told me it inevitably would. Oh. So now I have no identity. Yeah, there is a feeling you get in your in the pit of your stomach when that happens that's unlike any other feeling a person <laughs> can have. Kind of like an earthquake. It yeah. is like an earthquake. It's one of the great benefits, I think, of technology. It's brought this new emotional height to us that we didn't have before. Yeah. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Virtual then. unreality. Virtual unreality. <laughs> virtual non-existence. <laughs> Who wrote the song that you just did? Half, Half the, the Moon was written by another friend of mine. His name is Hugh Prestwood. Mm-hmm. And he's a wonderful writer. And which friend wrote Bristle Cone Pine? The same friend. Yeah. The same friend, right. You have good friends. I do. Who write songs like this for it's you. It's a good thing I do. Yeah. Well, let's listen. I'd like to hear it. We Sir. have just enough time for one more. All righty. twisted old tree called the bristle cone pine the wind there is bitter it cuts like a knife and it keeps that tree holding on for dear life but hold on it does standing its ground standing as empires rise and fall down when Jesus was gathering lambs to his fold The tree was already a thousand years old Now the way I have lived there ain't no way to tell When I die if I'm going to heaven or hell So when I'm laid to rest it would suit me just fine Sleep at the feet of the bristle cone pine. For as I would slowly return to the earth, what little this body of mine might be worth would soon start to nourish the roots of that tree. And it would partake of the essence of me. And who knows, but that as the centuries turn, a small spark of me might continue to burn. As long as the sun did continue to shine, down on the limbs of the bristle. The way I have lived there ain't no way to tell When I die if I'm going to heaven or hell So when I'm laid to rest it would suit me just fine To sleep at the feet of the bristle cone pine To sleep at the feet of the bristle Michael Johnson, Bristle Cone Pine. That's He's performing. beautiful. Isn't that lovely? Oh, I love it. Thank you. He's performing tonight at the College of St. Benedict in St. Joseph at 8 o'clock. Contact the St. Benedict Ticket Office for more information. Tomorrow night at Southwest State University in Marshall. Thursday night at Worthington Community College in Worthington. Saturday night at the High School Auditorium in Appleton. All of the concerts at 8 p.m. And for the Southwestern Minnesota shows, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday, you can call this number, 1-800-568-4215. And there are discounts available for MPR members. Just ask.
Thanks, Michael. Thank you. you. I just wanted to say also what a fan I am of public radio. I've been listening for many years, and uh, I'm with you. Okay, thanks. It's good to know. Thanks also to Stephanie Wentz sitting in for Jim Ed Poole this morning. My pleasure. The producer of our show is Nora McGilfrey. Craig Thorson placed the microphones and mixed this morning in Studio M. Uh, Thanks also to Alan Baker and Rick Hebzinski and to Karen Barta who brought us the news.